So in today's video, I am going to be answering questions that I have gotten since being on my semi-free forum lock quest. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the Atreyu Locks channel. Hi. I'm Atreyu, a semi-free former who is dedicated to bringing you guys the best tips to grow a healthy set of locks. If this is your first time, make yourself comfortable. I am glad to have you. So yeah, let's just get right into answering these questions. So the first question is, if you send my free form, will you get Congos? Well, one, that depends on the person and their hair type. But two, it also depends on how infrequently you decide to do maintenance. As many of you already know, I'm sure, semi-free formers are spread across the spectrum. Some people retwist every four months, some retwist every eight months, some retwist once a year, some retwist every three months. So it just depends on how often you do your maintenance and also how your specific hair type and texture tends to behave. If you have hair that is super coily and kinky and loves to tangle up really quickly and easily, and you don't do maintenance that often, maybe you do it like once a year, then yeah, you're probably gonna get Congos. And they'll probably get to the point where it would do more damage to try to separate them. And so yeah, you might be stuck with Congos. But if you're on top of it, and if you're someone who after you wash, you separate your locks every time, then you most likely won't get Congos. The next question is, do your locks get dry? And you guys might be wondering, well, what does that have to do with semi-freeform locks? I think the thinking <laughs> behind this question is that a lot of people who are on semi-freeform journeys, they also, many of them, not all, but many of them also tend to not use oils, right? Because they're in the habit of doing less to their locks. So the assumption behind this question is that, hey, if you're semi-free forming, then you don't use oil. And so do your locks get dry as a result? My answer would be no, my locks don't get dry. One, I do use my vitamin E or sweet almond oil slash uh, rose water mixture every so often it's very rare and I only use it on you know the lower parts of my locks to help them with moisture but any other time when I'm not using that no they don't get dry they get moisture from when I wash them remember the oil only helps to keep that moisture in for longer the oil itself does not really moisturize your locks so short answer no they don't get dry the third question is do your locks thin out the assumption behind this question is that I'm someone who has hair that grows away from my locks. And that assumption is true. What that means for those of you who don't know about this phenomenon is that some people who have locks, when their new growth grows, it grows into their locks. And for that person, you would say their hair grows into their locks. And they have nice parts and their locks don't thin out as that new growth grows out. For people like me, I have hair that grows away from my locks. And so what that means is that the new growth, when it grows, it doesn't grow into the lock. It grows away from the lock. And so over time, if I don't do something to reincorporate that hair back into my locks, they will thin out. So getting back to the question, as a semi-free former, do my locks thin out with time? Well, no, they don't because one, I inspect my locks for thinning. Two, I know about the braid technique, which is a very useful method of reincorporating the hair back into your locks. I have videos, several videos, in fact, showing how to do that and where I talk about it. So check those out if you have not seen them. And three, I just know that I have hair that grows away from my locks. So I know to be on the lookout for possible thinning since I'm a semi-free former. For people who do regular maintenance, you don't really have to worry about your locks thinning out as a result of having hair that grows away from your locks because you're doing maintenance often enough to reincorporate that hair back into the lock before it even has the opportunity to thin out. So yeah, that's the answer to number three. Number four is, do your locks look messy? I don't know guys, do they look messy? I don't think they look messy. I think they look like locks. And I think they look like locks that have not had a retwist since August 16th, you know? Uh, but no, having locks is a look in in itself. And I think that as your locks get longer, 
it just looks better especially when it's not a fresh retwist you know especially when it's just they're just kind of doing their thing i don't know how everyone else's hair grows but with mine it's like the longer i wait to do maintenance the more of a fro i get at you know the level of my scalp and then the locks are just kind of offshoots from that so in my opinion it never looks messy it just looks very afrocentric <laughs> hey if you are enjoying this video don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you are notified every single time i upload how about that number five is do you lose your original parts once again this is going to depend on the individual and it's going to depend on how often you do maintenance so i will be honest and say there's an opportunity for you to lose your original parts one if you're not careful when you finally do maintenance to you know restore those parts exactly as they were but also number two if you wait a long time to do maintenance then yeah those locks are just going to more than likely try to you know intertangle intertwine tangle up i don't know how to say it i can't talk it's friday it's been a long week and i just want to go to sleep but i gotta make this video for you guys <laughs> no they're going to be more likely to marry <laughs> that's what i wanted to say and so there's a good possibility that you will lose your original parts but once again it depends on the individual it depends on how on top of things you are if you are paying attention and watching your parts and trying to make sure that they are as they were then no you won't lose your original parts but if you're someone like me who doesn't really care about original parts you are just more so concerned with making sure that there's enough hair at the base of your locks to support the lock itself or each lock then yeah you could lose your original parts i mean i think they're pretty close to how they were originally but it's been over seven years all i care is that they're healthy which they are so number six is do you miss being a manicured locker <laughs> that's a good question uh no i don't i really don't and remember i'm a semi freeform locker right so i get to do some maintenance i just don't do it regularly i just don't do it every two weeks or every month or even every two months uh but because I'm kind of like a hybrid, I get the best of both worlds. I get the best of, you know, just letting my locks grow and be who they want to be. But then I also get to, you know, interject every so often and be like, all right, you're getting a little wild there. Let me get you back in order and I get to tame them when I see fit. Uh, so no, I don't miss being a manicured locker because I still get to do maintenance. Number seven, does your hair grow faster? I think the thought or thinking behind this is if you leave your hair alone, it'll grow faster. And I don't know if that's a myth or not. I have a feeling that it probably is. I will say that it doesn't grow faster. <laughs> I think my hair grows at the rate that it grows. But what I do think is possible is that because I'm not messing with my hair as often, then I'm not losing as many strands as I would. And so this really, I feel like, comes into play for people who have loose, natural hair, you know, who are always in their hair, and they sustain a lot of breakage. And even people who have relaxed hair, you know, loose, relaxed hair. Like, if they're always combing through it and stuff, then that can kind of lead to, like, breakage. And of course, the hair is still growing at the same rate that it always has, but because it's breaking at a comparable rate, it looks like there's no growth or that it's growing very slowly. So I think that your hair grows, you know, pretty much the same rate that it's gonna grow unless you're doing a whole bunch of different things, you know, eating better and just being healthier, then maybe that may play a role in it. But no, I don't think that by having semi-freeform locks, they grow faster. Now, if you asked if my locks were fuller, then I think, yeah, there's a chance that the hair at the scalp is fuller because I'm not, you know, pulling on it as often. But that's a different question. The eighth question is, does your hair grow slower? <laughs> and the reason this person asked that question is because when you don't do maintenance, it mats up at the roots, right? Especially if you're not separating. And then you don't see the hang time that you truly have until you do maintenance again. And so it gives the appearance that your hair is actually growing slower. So same answer that I gave to the previous question, no. <laughs> 
I don't think that my locks or my hair grows slower as a result of having semi-freeform locks. I just think that you don't see its true length until you actually do maintenance, until you separate those locks and then do the retwist or the interlock method or whatever method you're doing, okay? So no and no. All right, the ninth question is, do you ever consider just freeforming? I could definitely understand why someone would ask this. It's like, you're already semi-freeforming, why don't you just go ahead and freeform? I know for me, at least at this point in my quest, I don't really ever consider, well, I shouldn't say that. I have considered freeforming, but then I came to the realization that I'm a control freak when it comes to my locks. I wanna have some control. So maybe I'm not a control freak, Maybe I'm somewhere along the spectrum before you get to the freak side of it. Um, I do like to exercise control over my locks. So yeah, I probably, at least at this point, I wouldn't consider becoming a freeformer, just full-fledged freeformer. And I know some people think that because I've done maintenance already at, you know, for seven years in some capacity then that already bars me from being considered a freeformer. But for those of you who are not being legalistic, you know what I mean. If I didn't do any more maintenance from here on out, then those of you who understand what I'm saying would consider me a freeformer. But yeah, no, I don't think that um, I would consider that because I like to have the retwist, you know, when I want to, albeit infrequently, but I still like to have it in there. I like to be the hybrid. I like to experience the best of both worlds, okay? And the 10th and final question is, do you feel more confident with semi-freeform locks? <sighs> I wanna say that I don't feel more confident as a result of having semi-freeform locks, but I can understand why somebody would feel more confident by having semi-freeform locks. So let me elaborate. So I say I don't feel more confident because I feel like I have the same confidence that I had before when I was retwisting every two months and once a month. But I also will say that like, I don't care like what people think about my locks. I don't care if I don't have a fresh retwist, you know? Like I'll get on the camera <laughs> and not have a fresh retwist and I'm not gonna apologize for not having a fresh retwist. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're locks. And I'm talking to members of the lock community. So why apologize? Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah, you know, dog, I ain't got no fresh retwist. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that next week. You know, like there's no need to do all that. Like, no, I have locks. I have semi free form locks and you like it or you don't, but you should like it because you like locks, right? So I don't think that I have more confidence, but I will say that I can definitely see how maybe somebody would. And the fact that they have semi-free from locks is just proof of that. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You'll have to drop down below in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on my responses. Can you relate to what I said? Do you not relate at all? Do you have other semi-free form lock questions? Let me know in the comment section below. If you choose to love, do so unconditionally because loving with conditions conditions the heart to not really love at all. This is Atreyu Locks and I will see you next week. Peace.